The psychrometric chart. In this video, we are going to talk about the psychrometric chart. First, what, what is a psychrometric chart? A psychrometric chart is a chart that has two dimensions. One dimension is the horizontal dimension, which is the dry bulb temperature. And it also, ha it also has another dimension, which is the, the humidity ratio dimension. It's shown in the vertical axis. And there are many other things on this chart shown as a function of uh, these two variables, dry bulb temperature and the humidity ratio. So if you have a moist air system and you know the dry bulb temperature of the, of the moist air and you know the humidity ratio, then you can find everything about this moist air. I also need to note that uh, Every psychrometric chart is given for a particular barometric pressure. So for example, this one, this chart is, is made for this barometric pressure of, of one atmosphere, which is 101.325 kilopascal. And this is the, uh, the standard uh, atmospheric pressure at sea level. Also, we need to give credit to the people who made this psychrometric chart. There are so many versions of uh, the psychrometric chart and they look, may look different, but uh, the, um, they should be all equivalent if they're defined for the same condition, if they're defined for the same uh, barometric pressure. For example, this, this psychrometric chart is made by the Carrier Corporation. And there are many psychrometric charts fl uh, freely uh, available from the internet. Okay, let's just uh, look at one very simple example to see the basic things that we can do using a psychrometric chart. So we have uh, a moist air system that's at uh, 25 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius, dry bulb temperature, and uh, with a um, humidity ratio of uh, 0 0.01 milligram water per milligram of dry air. Okay, so we have this, have this moist air system and the dry bulb temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The humidity ratio is 0 0.01. The humidity ratio is the ratio of uh, water vapor mass to dry air mass. In other words, in this moist air, for every kilogram of uh, dry air, you have a uh, 0.01 kilogram, that's 10 grams of uh, water vapor. And the question we need to answer is, what is the relative humidity of this moist air? So what we do is we look for dry bulb temperature of 25 degrees, which is here. And then we draw a vertical line along uh, this, from this position of 25 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature. And then we draw, uh, we look for a, a humidity ratio of uh, 0.01, which is on the vertical uh, axis. This is the uh, humidity ratio of 0.01, and we draw a horizontal line from this position and we look to cross the dry bulb temperature 25 degrees. So this is the condition. I'll change to a different color. This is the condition. This is our moist air condition. 25 degrees dry bulb temperature 0.01 humidity ratio. What is the relative humidity of this moist air? And we can say it's almost exactly landing on this 50% relative humidity curve. Okay, this curve. And you can find from uh, other psychrometric chart, and some psychrometric charts actually show a so-called comfort zone, uh, this 25 degrees dry bulb temperature 50% relative humidity is a condition that the most humans would feel comfortable 
to be in. Now, in addition to finding relative humidity for the moist air, knowing dry bulb temperature and the humidity ratio, we can also find other properties of the moist air. For example, we can find the specific volume of the moist air. Uh, we need to look for the lines that uh, represent constant specific volume, and these are the, the green lines. So this here's one green line that shows constant specific volume. And uh, here's another uh, green line that shows constant specific volume. And to find the to determine the uh, the specific volume of our moist air condition, we need to do interpolation. What you do is you can you can draw a straight line uh, across your condition, and then you measure the distance. You measure the distance between the po uh, point of interest and uh, the two reference points. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate how to do the uh, interpolation. This is something that uh, you can, you should already know, or you can learn elsewhere. Now, finding the uh, specific volume of moist air is very important in air conditioning design practice because uh, you need to know how much air you're moving. And specific volume will give you that to provide you that information. It's an essential piece of information. Uh, we also need to determine the enthalpy of uh, moist air that uh, is involved in our uh, project in our uh, system. Um, there are also uh, so on on this psychrometric chart, you can also determine the the enthalpy of uh, the moist air. The constant enthalpy lines are these black lines. For example, this is one. This is one constant enthalpy line, and here's another one. Okay, so in order to determine the enthalpy of of our moist air system, we need to do interpolation again between these two lines. Um, you can some some psychrometric charts like this one cause the enthalpy. It refers to enthalpy of the moist air as enthalpy at saturation. This may be confusing. Uh, this has to do with the fact that um, constant enthalpy lines are also constant uh, uh, wet bulb temperature lines. And you can see the the other uh, the the dark blue lines. Th these are wet bulb or saturation temperature lines. These are parallel to the constant enthalpy lines. Um, I will record a separate video to explain why the, uh, the, the saturation, wh why the, uh, the constant uh, enthalpy lines are parallel to the uh, constant wet bulb temperature lines. And that way, uh, if you have that knowledge, you can appreciate why these en constant enthalpy lines are also called enthalpy at saturation temperature lines like it was said in this psychrometric chart. Not all psychrometric charts would say enthalpy at saturation. Um, many of the psychrometric charts would just say enthalpy. Now this was just a very brief introduction to the uh, psychrometric chart, to the psychrometric chart, and uh, uh, we introduced the, the, the basic uh, functions of uh, the psychrometric chart. What we can do uh, to uh, what we can do with the the psychrometric chart. Uh, in other videos, I will talk about the other forms of or other more complex psychrometric charts and uh, how to find or how to draw a process line in a psychrometric chart.